So this is the third video in the series um, chronicling the assembly of the OB 1.4. In this video we're going to be assembling the side piece uh, complete with the gantry upright. So now we're going to make the side piece. This is what it looks like when it's finished. It's got the Z motor mount on the bottom. It's got the gantry support for the, for the gantry. Um, and it's also got the rail that connects the, the front and the rear sections we've already made. So, so to start with, we go with a, a 330mm length of extrusion. Um, we've got the Z motor mount, which mounts directly on top onto that. And we've got the gantry support, which screws through the Z motor mount. So they go like that, mounting one on top of the other. So to start with, we'll um, mark the middle of the beam again, so we can get the motor mount marked in the correct position. Right, so taking our centre mark, we preload the box as usual. Bolted and then slide the rail on. A little bit of a wiggle to get the nuts in. So the um, the back of this piece also holds the um, the guide rail for the Z axis. So I'm going to put that on now too because it's a lot easier now rather than later. Okay, so again, tighten it up and then take it back about a turn on each of those, just so that the clamp sits free of the face of the Z motor mount. And then take a 10 mil drill and running it in reverse, run it between the two blocks. That just clears out the, the blocks so that uh, they'll take the the 10 mil guide rod, and you can see because I've slacked them off um, slightly, there's a small gap there. So as you tighten them up, they'll clamp the rod. Okay, we're also going to put the motor in as well at this point, um, which mounts in from underneath. Um, make the wiring face towards the rail because when it's in position, that means you can hide the wire along the underside of the rail. So, so this mounts with uh, a couple of uh, or four of these machine screws that pass through both of the, the layers on the top here straight into the motor. Right, then when they're all in, then you can tighten them all up. motor turns and then we have it there's side number two so next up we're going to assemble the, the lower frame so we're going to use the pieces we've already made which are the um, the front portion of the, the motor mount uh, the, <laughs> so we're going to use the front portion of the lower frame the rear portion the way you tell these apart is the, the Y motor is at the front the uh, Y idler is at the back, so those two, and then they're going to be connected with the two sides, so one side on each side. We'll start off uh, with the rear one and preload all the nuts into both ends, and then slip the two ends in. Now it's just a matter of um, fitting these sides together. Um, should just be a matter of slipping them onto the, the nuts like we did with the other parts. Usually a bit of a wiggle does the trick. And then when you get it into position just nip up 
one of the nuts just to stop it moving. section, same again. So there we go, to the right orientation. Just slip in. So. Um, I wouldn't over tighten it, don't over tighten anything just yet. Like one um, bolt in each of these corners is enough to stop the extrusion falling out but we do have to do some checks of measurements and a few things. So that's the basic thing there, we're going to have to pan out to a bigger angle soon aren't we?